Welcome everybody to this episode of Press Start TV, this very special episode of Press Start TV. <laughs> As you can tell. It is our one year birthday. Hooray! Oh, I don't have my These don't make noise. It's over there. <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> I got Iron Man yeah, now, so did. we're okay, all good. Cool. Yeah! Hooray us. Happy birthday to us, and uh, thank you oh. for joining us. Good yeah. job, Gage. Mess it up. <laughs> mess, up, mess up the set. Yeah, whatever. My name is Will, and with us, as always, is Nine. Hello. We have Gage. Hey. And Sam. Hey. And really we're drink through. today Maybe we're going to talk about uh, new releases this month of uh, June. Technically, it's still May 30th, but we're going to talk about June games because it's so close to June. We're going to talk about some news, yeah, and of course, we're going to talk about... Um, uh, co-op gaming um, and how that uh, helps you be more social. So yeah, surprise, let's, surprise. <laughs> let's start off with the uh, games of June. Um, Payday Two. Well, Payday Two is getting like a complete edition kind of thing. Is it? It's, it's, for, it's for the PS4, PS4 and, Xbox and Xbox One. Yeah. So it's taking the release from PC and the other consoles to Xbox One, PS4. Yeah. Giving you all that stuff. Um, a bunch of new masks and a bunch of new yeah. heists and. And I don't, I don't even think it's a sixty dollars price point, so that's cool too. It yeah. might be forty. I would say forty. Big Why big Payday number. Two though? Why bring it? Uh, I mean, Payday Two was very popular, incredibly popular. They but it wasn't expected to be like like when it first came out. It, it was I don't want to say it was flying under the radar. It was just another release. What, for but for Payday Two, but it, it, Payday Two was well I, received. I, Payday One was the the sleeper. I didn't think they were it was going to blow up as much as it did, but it did. And absolutely, just, it did <laughs> really well. Yeah, and they've been at E three each year we've been. So yeah, they they're kicking it. So Payday 2 coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Devil May Cry 4 getting a special edition. I'm kind of excited about this. Oh yeah? I want a Dante-esque, a real Dante-esque Devil May Cry. Were you a fan of DMC? No. No? That Dante was a loser. In my <laughs> <opinion>. Okay. <laughs> well, he didn't They they, they He wasn't well designed. Ninja Theory had a good idea. The combat system was really good, but the game itself and the character design I didn't like. Very if you wonder so why we're laughing for no so reason, sorry. it's because we're drinking Red Bull yeah. with straws. For all the radio <laughs> listeners out there, can't tell, but I can't get over this crazy straw. <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry to interrupt your dope. Like this is the soda for you. But that's coming in Xbox One, PS4 as well. Yeah, so it's just, it's so I might pick that up. Remake there. So. More games for the PS4 and Xbox One. Yay! More old games. More for the remakes. PS4. Yeah, yeah. More, like that seems to be the current theme of the generation. Get your money, man. Well, that's because everybody complains. Oh, I, I can't play my old games on my PS4 so or my Xbox again, One. For the new thing. So, continuing the trend, we uh, have Elder Scrolls Online from the consoles coming to, from PC finally, to the consoles. Yeah, yeah free um, to play. Yeah. All kinds of new missions, quests, whatever you want to call them. And premium, you can pay for a premium account to get a bonus and experience and some like other free -to -play little knickknacks for your character. Nothing that's going to make you ahead of the curve. No pets? Can I get a I pet? I don't know. Is there pets in this? Mm, not when I played it. I want a pet. I didn't play PC, so I don't know. <laughs> well, it's just kind of here. Um, <laughs> it's like I know nothing of this. It's a really good game. If, it, if you guys haven't, haven't played it, I recommend picking it up, uh, especially if you like the MMOs. Yeah, um, I do. It's, I like free. It's the story is really engrossing. Um, you don't realize that you have played for eight hours. Until you look at the clock and go, oh, I have to go to work. Those, <laughs> games, those games are dangerous. I have that problem with The Witcher right now. Yeah, well, that's my problem with that. I can't get Elder Scrolls because I have The Witcher to play, but I want Elder Scrolls yeah. too. So. Lego Jurassic coming Whoa. out uh, as a 3DS, I think, or is it it's coming all, out? It's all, all, it's, all a, it's a Lego game. It's coming out everywhere. Be okay. the Dino. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's Obviously, Lego Jurassic because you play new movie coming out. Yep, you play through the first three and then the third one as well. I think this is coming out the 27th, so that's two weeks after the movie comes out, so it doesn't spoil yeah, anything. Yeah, something like that. Um, you, can, you play as your characters, as your Lego, Lego characters, classically, as you know. You can also play as dinosaurs in this. Cool. So Yay. raptors build stuff. However. Dinosaurs. Yeah, there you go. They have arms. They don't have little T-Rex arms, so. <laughs> Not all dinosaurs <laughs> have tiny arms. You can play as a stegosaurus. I'm sure it's going to be a great game. Lego always does a great jo job with their games. Um, and then lastly, uh, Batman. Yeah, who, who's excited for Batman, though? Nobody. No one. That game's going to be terrible. Batman's coming out next month. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, but I don't you have to care. wait till the end of the month. 23rd. That's no problem for yeah. me. Yeah. I can wait. What's that? 
pumped. Are you really that excited? Yeah, I'm super pumped. <laughs> I mean, it's Batman. It's the closing series of like one of my favorite gaming series of all time. Rock I gotta steady. say that I am also super. I I'm think, very think. excited for this game. I want to play as Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah, I, that's yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah, I just want to play the game and and just finish out the story. I want to know who the Arkham Knight is. I want all my questions answered from Arkham City. I want to know who the Arkham Knight is. Yeah. I want to know so far, from the people that I talk there. to, is just everybody's got like a different reason. Like, you know, I'm really excited about the Batmobile, right? So I want to finally be able to play that and yeah. use that. Uh, talking to some other people, Nightwing is in the game. Nightwing's so the super game. excited about, you know, that. I mean, so everybody's got their reasoning for wanting to pick this game up. So, so far, the hype is definitely there. It's I, I, I Batman. Just, and it looks, gr it looks great. It definitely looks Looks great yeah. for sure. Um, and they they came out recently and said the Riddler trophies from this from Arkham City they were 440 Riddler trophies, so 440 collectibles. This game's only like 243, but they're all challenging. Good. Yeah. So it's not just like random ones. More you just in pick depth up. challenges. Yes. Probably. So yeah. it's gonna that's be cool. more gameplay. Interesting to get into. So that's my game of June already. Probably game of the year. <laughs> Who knows? I haven't even played I haven't, it yet. I haven't played fair. it. I'm having a lot of fun with The Witcher right now, so we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Well, but it's Batman. Batman's going to be huge. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are excited about that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the for the month of June as far as game wise. There's obviously some other smaller games uh, coming out, but those are the ones that we want you to know about. Uh, and when we get back, we're going to get into some news right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about games of June. We're gonna get into some news right now. Let's do this. Uh, start with Konami. Konami is uh, talking <laughs> about getting into mobile games. That's sure. Not just getting into mobile games. Focusing, <laughs> focusing on, on mobile, mobile, mobile games. So they're moving their direction from console-based gaming and things like that to smartphones. This is a very Nintendo-esque announcement. It very stupid. Well, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it, it's kind of where the industry is going. I mean, everybody has a smartphone. So I understand the I, money. Market. I disagree. Is there? Disagree. I think there is a market for sure, and but I don't think that's where the market's heading. Don't take things away from people who have been shoveling money down your throats for decades. Konami's taking things away though. I mean, Nintendo's not. Nintendo's getting into now, mobile Nintendo's games. Nintendo's adding mobile to their already existing yeah, platform. and they're not even like Konami putting... is just switching focus. Right. So there's the difference between Nintendo's where they're not putting all their focus on mobile games, but they're producing right. mobile games, so they're only putting out like seven over the next like two years or something like that. Yeah. Konami? And Konami, Konami, apparently. Konami. I've said it both ways over the past few years. Konami <laughs> is taking everything mobile. So but I don't even know what they would produce. I don't really blah. Is, I, I don't. I don't. You shut your just, mouth. Uh, I meant with Konami. Silent uh, Hill. Uh, I mean to mobile games. I mean I, I just not that. The game's not coming. I, I believe in taking gaming to that platform as a as an entertainment device, but not at the expense of Focusing home entertainment them. and where most people do their gaming. Like um, that could still also include like 3ds and Vita and and that. Oh kind well, of stuff. yeah, that's different. I think. But, I think they're trying to push more into that pay-to-play kind of market with mobile, like cell yeah, phone sure. and tablet. Yeah, games. you got to recognize how huge mobile gaming is. Absolutely, yeah. and and, yeah. and we'll see how much of uh, mobile gaming, as in smartphones, impacts mobile gaming, as in Vitas and 3DSs and things like that. We'll see how it plays out. Um, other news: Dean, 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 Doom, <laughs> Dean, Doom. That's Don't right. Play that game, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> We're off the rails. Version, no. one, <laughs> one year of this today. Yeah, great. <laughs> Professionals. Um, <laughs> Professional amateurs. Uh, Doom has been confirmed uh, for E3 from Bethesda. Yes. Big Super excited. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I think they're putting that teaser out to produce the hype for Doom for E3 to get you excited to go see Doom at E3. And then blindside leaving 20 you with minutes else? open at the, the end of that show. Floor. For Fallout 4. Or it's very difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not as easy. We're talking about the straw, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, th I think I don't think Doom was a big surprise coming out of it. We knew there was a Doom beta coming. We knew there was a Doom we game. We knew Doom was already being made. Yeah. We just hadn't seen anything about Doom, and this will be the first official, like, 
full length for trailer it. or gameplay or whatever they've got coming for yeah, you. For, I mean, for the public at least. I mean, we, yeah. Doom was showed off back at QuakeCon 2014. Yeah. Which is good. I, I think, you know, anytime you bring an old franchise up to current gen technology, hopefully the, the deliver it right. Those long term fans are going to want to see their game get taken to the next level, so hopefully they do a good job. As well as Wolfenstein did, they'll be in good yeah, shape. Yeah, great example. Because Wolfenstein was an awesome was great. game. Big. Agreed. Uh, Battlefield Hardline getting its first DLC. Cool. Sweet. Yep. Bounties. I mean, new map. New cops. New cops, new, new robbers. Cops, new, robbers. <laughs> <laughs> new cops, new robbers. Um, you know, the game's good. Uh, it's, it's, it's playable. Yeah, I enjoy well, it. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, if you haven't played uh, Battlefield Hardline, go play it. Best campaign so far for Battlefield. Aside from Bad Company. Yeah. Which never we never going to get a bad, bad company anymore, so I'm just. I did mad. like Advanced Warfare. Uh, that's that's called Duty. I know, but I'm just saying. Campaign. Um, <laughs> I was talking about first person shooters. Well, if you want to talk campaign, not just, just talking about games. Campaign. You can just talk about other games. What up, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, talking about Battlefield, but like I said, campaign. professional amateurs here. Uh, My favorite campaign is Le Legend of Zelda. <laughs> that's good. Great campaign. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bloodborne is getting an expansion. Woo! -hoo! It makes happy. me very happy. It'd be nice if I could just play through the game once, though. So, so. I'm, I'm excited. More Bloodborne. I'm also excited. More Bloodborne. Yeah. Um, the game's certainly worthy. I mean, certainly, I mean, Sony banked on this game being huge, and it is. Actually, and they Sony, did not. They were surprised. They were how surprised well it sold. at how well received this game yeah. was. I think they put, according to the information I read, they, they were banking on it being big, but I don't think they expected it to be this big. Right. True. Yeah. They knew it was going to do well. They yeah. just didn't expect it to do as well as it did. And now Surprise. it's kind of like this whole but, thing. But then, I mean, everyone's claiming like uh, Dark Souls Two had their DLC, and everyone's like, "Where's my Bloodborne stuff? I want more Bloodborne, 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 Bloodborne." Uh, FromSoft. So you three times fast. I try. <laughs> FromSoft has a very good way of making their fans very satisfied with their content. They said for Dark Souls. Not to mention Souls, they put out great games. Yeah, I mean they said with Dark Souls, we're not. It's a complete game. That's all you're getting. And then Fan Outcry was like, we want more. We want more. So they made the DLC. And then the same thing happened with Dark Souls 2. It's just I think they finally accepted that fans want their stuff. So what do you do with DLC for Bloodborne? More. M okay. Do more campaign. <laughs> you could do different online PvP stuff. In the past, uh, they've added like dungeons. a PvP arena um, to Dark Souls One. Okay. So they could add a dedicated PvP area for this, which I'm sure is a lot of people's request. Yeah, because they had the, the more bridge. like factions or what are they called? I'm only like an hour in that game, so I just so they, they, they could definitely more dungeons. Add more, they could more chalice. Yeah, dungeons. they could make more chalice dungeon more. variants Ooh. and stuff. Sure. Oh man, more chalice. Yeah. Dungeons. And those are pretty brutal when you get to the later when ones. When you get to the deeper ones, it's just nuts. I just know nothing. <laughs> it's okay. This is like the Bloodborne side of the couch. Yeah. You got it. I've played great, it. Great you game. guys have it. <clears throat> um, and WWE 2K16 has been announced. Officially, which, I mean, it's an annualized game now, so I wasn't really surprised. And you weren't no. a fan of the last one, right? No, the last one was pretty bad. We talked about this on our podcast. I mean, yeah. We were. And I think, you know, what do you do with the, it's like Madden, what do you do to improve upon it? Better graphics? Uh, definitely better graphics for next-gen consoles. Uh, new, new wrestlers, new rosters, definitely a thing. Uh, keep your environments updated. Keep your gameplay simple. But, environments? Uh, what do you mean, like ring, different Oh yeah, places? different ring style. Different I mean, that's, style I mean, that's only just a small detail of what's going on with the game that was a problem with it from 2K15. Uh, I mean, the biggest problem was gameplay wasn't fun. It was a step down from 13 and 14. But uh, you're excited about 2K16? I mean, I get excited about these games every year because I play them. It's a guilty nice. pleasure of mine. I just I yeah. like getting into them, so it's something I, I haven't played pick up quickly. I use for achievements <laughs> and move on. On Nintendo 64. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to be talking about uh, that's all the time we have for news. That's all the news that we have right now. But we're going to be talking about co-op gaming and how that makes you socially better right after this. Hey, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's, let's talk about. Uh, said that. <laughs> so, hey, uh, let's talk about social games. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's talk about co-op <laughs> games. You can't even do it. Can't Making you more social. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, so this is a thing. Obviously, I think there, there's lots of different uh, studies and video games showing how they positively affect uh, kids or people of all ages, and you know, video games are just that cool. I think Big now at this point, the positives are outweighing the negatives that once kind of summed up video games for a lot of people, especially Which, older yeah, people. Yeah, until you get 
when GT when the next GTA gets announced, there will be controversy brought up again. Or yeah. if that next ultra violent game comes out, yeah, it's going to rise up again. Well, here's the I thing: mean, like I'm, back when I was playing, like Nintendo, like wait, I mean, you know, back in the day when we were playing games, the average gamer was like way kid. down. Yeah, sure. And then as people got older, they kept playing, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, kept on playing. I've been so playing the, games for like. 25 years. Exactly. So the average gamer is now like 35, 36 years old and you know it's become more acceptable to, to play games and everything. So more mature. So you don't have a parent that wasn't into games or not familiar with games saying oh these things are the devil. You know or whatever. Yeah well video games are still a new Bobby Boucher. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> but video, video games are still a new thing. I mean it's not an old technology. You know, it's only like a 40 year old industry right now. Yeah. I just meant that's the change that you've experienced from but As a, the people that grew up playing games grew up and kept playing games. It yeah. became like it's just like rated R movies and PG-13 movies. The trend has become more acceptable for this kind of material. Yeah well we're going through a generation right now that has kids that are like in the 15 year old age range that have all that have had two so, generations of games. So, right so let's there, talk about so. that. So I mean. I have a five year old. So. so <laughs> But my point to that was like you know there, there because of that shift in uh, demographic, I guess there are, are more positives to gaming than the negatives. And uh, the one we're going to talk about today is of course uh, co-op gaming, making people more social. And this isn't just kids. This is people everybody. that this is everybody. Um, Texas Tech Texas Tech did a study on um, video gamers, and it has shown that cooperative gamers are more cooperative in re the real world and show more empathy towards their friends and foes in the real world because they are um, gaming, together. gaming together, working together. Because nine times out of ten, you don't know everybody that's on your team on you know, a cooperative game. Right, very true. So you don't know if that's Jimbo from down the street or somebody from China. You don't know. And you're more, you're working together to, for a common goal. And it translates into the real world situation where you're more likely to help your neighbor or, you know, your coworker in an instance. Sure. Right. I, and the same thing uh, can be said there. I mean, you can definitely have a bad experience online. And oh, yeah. I've there, had my fair share. There are some more uh, serious uh, situations. Um, with uh, uh, <laughs> what is that weird noise coming through? <laughs> there are some more serious situations <laughs> with. Uh, what if that even gets picked up? Um, bullying uh, online yeah. for, for some people, uh, w which is an issue. But um, when you do have a good online experience, especially with co-op and team-based missions and things like that, I'll use Destiny as an example because there was uh, you, when you do a raid, you have to have six people kind of working as a team in order to accomplish a goal. Another you guy. literally have to communicate with each everybody yeah. and let everybody know, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you do. Right. When you have a good experience like that, it can be a ton of fun. It can be something you really remember, you know, and. And you can translate that to the real world instead of it just being a negative situation where, oh, everybody hates me and whatever. Yeah. Right. Well, there, I mean, there is the positives there, but you can't ignore that there's that negative aspect, too. There's always there going to be that one guy that thinks it's going to be a total jerk and yeah, say, yeah, you're, I mean, you're terrible, in, you shouldn't play games, and that kind of, the bullying thing. Yeah, yeah but I mean, much. back in the 90s, people were, you know, hurting themselves over EverQuest online. Yeah. You know, like... It I'm was, not saying it's not going to be there, but right. I think at this point, when you do have that experience, definitely the positives outweigh the negatives. And, and, oh, yeah. And also, another thing that's fun is um, I've had a lot of funny conversations with People, people that I don't even know but oh, yeah. ab about gaming. And it kind of brings people together in that way. And I was just like, man, I remember jokes that I only heard from playing online, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, it's a bonding situation. Sure. Right. right. Um, I played Final Fantasy XI for years and met a guy that lives over all the way in Wisconsin. And I've been friends with him for years now. That's a we, great example. We, we talk, we email, we chat, and we haven't played Final Fantasy XI in like six years, and we're still in communication. See, I never had any of that weird stuff. Because, I mean, I played... That's weird. Well, not, Making not, friends is weird. It's not weird. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, <laughs> weird it's was clear that Gage needs to play co-op games because he's socially I play co-op games. I play plenty of multiplayer games, but I play co-op games with my immediate friends. You know, I, I haven't made friends on... You know, internet gaming since like Halo Two. But if anything, it still brings you closer together with it's your still reality, friends. I mean, you know, yeah. right? Hey, no, are you, get, are you getting online tonight? Are you going to play this mission tonight? Do you want to do this? You know, it, it makes you guys kind of connect. It just makes me them. mad at my friends when they just don't carry their own weight. <laughs> when they don't want to play. Games. Well, then there's that. Well, no, they're just bad. But we're sorry, friends. You're that guy. You're, yeah, he's I'm the guy that makes guy. it a bad experience better than you. Guys. But what we're talking about is <laughs> it affecting people socially. Do you develop social skills because of? I believe you can. 
Um, if you're if you're gaming with strangers, I believe that you have a better chance at developing better skills versus just playing with the people you already know. And the one thing that helps, I think the biggest thing that helps and why this is, and why this study is even legit, is because people already have a common ground and that is the game. Right. So it's easier for them to start a conversation. Yeah, you have can a say, hey, you know, you need to do this or do you want to do this? And then you start getting into, you know, hey, what else is going on in your life? You know, how, what do, you, do you like this? Do you like that? Right. And you actually become friends. I've had the same situation that Nine has. I have a good friend that lives in Canada. Never yeah. met him in my life. Never met. Haven't I haven't gamed with him in probably five years, but I still know ever what's going on with his kids, what's going on with That's his cool. life. You build those relationships. So 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 there you go. I think um, you know certainly again, uh, gaming has a lot of positive effects, and that's definitely one of them. So. Um, Play games together. There you go. That's uh, the way it's supposed to be done. All right, guys. Thank you. This is our again our happy birthday episode, our one year anniversary. Woo We're so old now. Yeah. Yeah. We're seasoned <laughs> veterans. Um, we we've gone from being uh, total you, noobs to to seasoned veterans in, in just this episode. Anyway, uh, check us out on YouTube.com/psvgtv. Check us out at twitch.tv slash press underscore start underscore TV. And of course, facebook.com slash press start VG. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining us. See ya. Love you. See ya.